My name is George. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been a Republican since 1990, since I could vote. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I voted independent uh, because I couldn't vote for Hillary Clinton either. But I recognize that Trump is a joke, man. He's a joke. He constantly lies. He's fooled the evangelicals. He sends troops to attack our own citizens. And all he does is fear monger in order to, 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 to get a vote. All he cares about is ratings and a vote. We don't, we, we don't, we don't have a president. We don't have a president right now. We have somebody in office wasting our time. A lot, it's t the time for lies is done, Donald. It's over. You know, you had, he had one chance to even win me over. And I've been a Republican this whole time, but our party's been hijacked. It's not the Republican Party anymore. This is not the Republican Party anymore. This is something completely different. But he had one chance, one chance. This pandemic could have proved to me that Trump could have been a leader. But he messed that up too. Because he don't want to hear the truth. Anytime somebody tells him the truth, they're an idiot. They're 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 dumb. They're he call he just doesn't you know regular bullies try to call people names all the time. You know an, un, an unintelligent person talks bad about somebody but doesn't fix a problem. He can't fix anything. Anything. I mean the man is so dumb he can't even fix his own campaign. He could have turned this around. It's too late now, man. I don't want to hear nothing from you. And all the racial division and all the all, all the protests and all the other stuff is is a lot more to it, man. Donald Trump could have handled this. America could be great if we had a leader in office. This year, I'm supporting Joe Biden. I'm comfortable with that. So, as a Republican voter this time, I will not be voting for Donald Trump. This year, we need to vote. As if America depends on it. Because it does. You vote for Donald Trump in 2020. I really feel it's going to be the end of society as we know it as America.